students now let us see how to find cube roots of unity so unity means 1 cube root that means 1 power 1 by 3 so cube root is denoted by the power 1 by 3 here cube root of unity so 1 power 1 by 3 so first write 1 into polar form represent 1 into polar form that is cos 0 plus i sin 0 then add 2k pi with the argument and then uh, bring, bring the power inside that is uh, apply de Mauvier's theorem so write it in polar form add 2k pi with the argument and then up, uh, apply de Mauvier's theorem that is 2k pi into 1 by 3 2k pi by 3 then the last step assign the values for k K, is, k takes the values 0, 1, 2. Here n is equal to 3. So k takes the values 0, 1 and 2. Now, now let us see the cube roots of unity. For k equal to 0, z is equal to, put k equal to 0 here, we get cos 0 plus i sin 0 which is equal to 1. And then for k equal to 1, we get cos 2 pi by 3 plus i sin 2 pi by 3. Now split this 2 pi by 3 as pi minus pi by 3. Oh, pi minus pi by 3 sorry pi minus pi by 3 is present in second quadrant that is 180 it is in the form 180 minus theta so it present in the second quadrant in the second quadrant cos gets negative and sine gets positive so the value of cos pi minus pi by 3 is minus cos pi by 3 and sine pi minus pi by 3 is sin pi by 3 that is minus 1 by root 2 plus i into the value of sin pi by 3 is root 3 by 2. Next if k is equal to 2 put k is equal to 2 then z becomes cos 4k pi by 3 plus i sin 4 pi by 3 sorry put for k equal to 2 we get cos 4 pi by 3 plus i sin 4 pi by 3. Now split this 4 pi by 3 as pi plus pi by 3. So this becomes cos pi plus pi by 3 plus i sin pi plus pi by 3. Now pi plus pi by 3 is present in the third quadrant 180 plus theta. So it present in the third quadrant. So in the third quadrant both cos and sin both are negative. So minus cos pi by 3 and minus i sin pi by 3 so the value is minus 1 by 2 minus i into root 3 by 2 now these are the cube roots of unity the first root is 1 and the second root is minus 1 by 2 plus i root 3 by 2 and the third root is nothing but the conjugate of the second one minus 1 by 2 minus i root 3 by 2 so in cube roots of unity minus 1 by 2 plus i root 3 by 2 is taken as omega and minus 1 by 2 minus i root 3 by 2 is taken as omega square. So it may ask in one more question. The value of omega in cube root of unity. If asked means you should write uh, the value of omega in cube root of unity is minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2. And omega square is just the conjugate of that. Now let us see the diagrammatic representation of this cube roots of unity. The first root is 1. So, all the nth roots are lie on a circumference of the unit circle. So, the first root is 1 and the next root minus 1 by 2 plus i root 3 by 2 present in the second quadrant and the third root that is the conjugate of minus 1 by 2 plus i root 3 by 2. So, it is a conjugate of the second one. So, just this is the reflection of the second root reflection or mirror image of the second one minus 1 1 by 2 minus i root 3 by 2 if we join all the three roots we get an equilateral triangle so in cube roots of unity divides the unit circle into three equal parts if we join all these three roots we get an equilateral triangle here the arguments are differ by 2 pi by 3 so in nth roots of unity we have seen the ar arguments differ by 2 pi by n that is general form. So in cube root of unity put n is equal to 3. Here the arguments differ by 2 pi by 3. The first root is 1 and the second root is obtained by after the rotation of 2 pi by 3. And from here uh, one more 2 pi by 3 after 2 pi by 3 rotation the third root will come. Now these are the 
cube roots of unity 1 omega and omega square thank you